Hey, yeah, welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. We have a HRE, so vacation ended a little bit early, but that means I get to cover some War Rights events. We have currently, this is Server 2, uh, 156 in the Server Pop, 81 on the Attacking CSA versus 71 on the Defending Union. Let's take a look at these two teams. Looks like we've got 9th Corps here. Uh, let's see, on the Union team, we've also got Major Baron, saw Major Baron with uh, 14th LA. We've got Eddie leading the 2 USC. Looks like we've got Chauvel leading the 5th Alabama from AB. We got TJ leading Hampton's Legion. We've got Oddball leading the 6 LA. And we also have Luch uh, with some Artie from the 2 Corps. Swing down and take a look at what the CSA has. We've got JB here under... I'm not sure who. We've got HD under Captain Homa. We've got A and V under Colonel Killer. We see, Are you calling me that? Yes, I am see, As well as Gamebot leading the 6AL. Also from the A and V. We've got Canada leading the 20th Georgia. And we've got Yavor, uh, Vorjak, uh leading the 13th Georgia. And I believe that is it. So again, for the rule set for this event is a historical rules event. They are live at 40, but no sprinting and no bayonets until the 30-minute mark. Um, this game is War Rights. It is a first-person Civil War shooter. Um, each of one of these individuals is an individual player. It is available on Steam. It's actually on sale right now um, for 20 US dollars. Usually it's 30, so uh, we've been waiting to pick the game up. Um, it is on sale, so you do have an opportunity. I will advise you, though, be careful about what server you go into, especially the uh, official servers are cesspits, frankly, uh, due to enabling by the devs of not fixing problems that they're very well aware of as far as uh, toxicity in the event. But thankfully, this event is moderated, and I don't, we don't have to worry about that, and I can actually cover it on YouTube and recommend it to you guys. This is the Historical Rules event, and it is held every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, right now, there's two servers. They are accepting additional units, so plenty of room if you want to get your units signed up. I have also left links in the descriptions to many of these units. Um, if you're looking for a unit to join, um, I highly recommend you take a look at them, see how they play, what events they play, what time slots, and uh, jump on in. And of course, if you like the video, um, I would always appreciate a subscribe, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see, so, so far, the CSA, the Union has opted for a very forward defense here. Basically, and not quite a horseshoe, but a bit of an arc here with one unit along the flank a bit, and they did send one unit all the way out as a deep inter interception force here. I never like this move here, to be honest with you. I, I always find it to be fairly useless. They just kind of get swallowed up here. We'll see how Shovel does. Um, but I, I think this is more of a risk than... It's not really worth it, but we'll see. He's about to come up against Killer. Now, there's no sprinting, so, you know, but, um, yeah, Killer easily pushes aside that little attack. The flag did get out here, so Captain Dirt is doing a good job of trying to get the flag out. Oh, actually, he might get cut off here from a secondary attack. We'll see. And we do have two USC guarding the woods here, but now the CSA has already moved over here. And they are very much in danger of getting outflanked here. We'll see if 9th Corps can hold this position here, along with the HL. But yes, here comes the CSA starting to move up. 2 USC is now facing down the uh, 6 Alabama here. Let's see what they can do. Yes, north, straight north. Northeast, between north and northeast. Second, about face pull back now. Stay in formation if you're not in formation. Yep, and six Alabama easily knocks back the two USC there. North, northwest. And you can see now the CSA has their own arc going here, and they are really squeezing this Union defense here along this side here. Although so far they're holding on pretty stubbornly. 
We'll see if the Union can maintain this position. And now we see the CSA is starting to move up here. Here's GameBot starting to put pressure on this side of the field. And we've got, who is this? Here's Killer again. I'd be surprised if pretty soon he doesn't start moving up. But he might be satisfied with this and they might just wait for them to get Bayonets before they get into a fight. As you can see, they're doing an excellent job on ticket farming. The Union is almost already, you know, halfway down on battle ready at the 36 minute mark. And there we go, HL has been pushed back. And the Union is continuing to be squeezed by this very deliberate CSA attack here. I think the Union was a little bit too spread out on that defense. You can see now they're really boxed in here. Um, and the CSA has a lot of options. In fact, 6AL might make a stream run down here to intercept from Maine. Try to knock out the two USC back there, but we'll see. And in fact, they're getting pushed back even further. Here's two core hold here, hold here. moving back the even further. Great shooting by the CSA here. Very well disciplined. They're just taking little chunks and then moving up. Little chunks and moving up. Yep, there's Gamebot. He's moving up. Yeah, here we go. Here's the flank attack. Oh, so uh, Gamebot actually came behind to knock out the Union already. A nice raid here by the 6AL has now cut off the Union reinforcements. I wonder if they're going to try to cap, but I, I imagine he's going to try to raid behind the Union and knock out their flags. Now, there's no Steam Chat, so there's no coordination of this. This is all independent initiative, and I find it very much, uh, very impressive, to be, frank, to be uh, honest about it, to be frank, even though my name's Kotal, but... I'll be frank on occasion. Again, there's, he's doing this without sprinting and without bayonets. And he is hitting behind. He has already knocked down two flags here. Now the rest of the CSA needs to push up if they can figure out this attack is going on and really take advantage of it. And HL has pulled back even further though. So even though that attack failed, it has pushed back HL. And this thing is a mess. Okay, here's Homer. He's going to try to push his men up a little bit more. Continue to put pressure. Now we've got another CSA regiment over here. Who is this? All right, the other half of ANV is is behind now. In a great position. And we're at 34. God, the US, USA is almost already at taking losses. Uh, engaged here. This is a slaughter. Um, 80 against 83. It's even on player count. I think I took the wrong flag. Uh, here's here's HD. He's gonna try to do a little raid here against 6LA. Hi, Rob. Hi. Just zoom out here so we can kind of see the field now. You see now you got the A and V element over here on this left side. They pushed up and kind of put pressure on this flank here. And then you got the main element of the CSA pushing down here. The Union has been pushed back all the way to their point of contention now. This is a bit messy. And it should be taking the rocks. We can't even run, mate. You'd have to walk in front of us. And we're at 32-30, and the Union is now engaged. CSA halfway through battle ready. 
This may be a very quick match. Two USC try to rotate out here to try to get another angle here on A and V. Let's see if they can handle um, this fire here. So 2USC has managed to uh, push back They're running. the elements of A and V and force them to redeploy. So well done there by the 2USC. Looks like kill is going to reconsolidate down here a bit. Um, you know, the other thing, though, they might be doing actually is, you know, I might be underestimating Killer here. He may just have come back here to get loads and bayonets and get ready for that push. Now, we do have a raid here by 2Core. I have that. I made your Baron, saw Major Baron here. We'll see where he goes, if he's going to go right or left for this raid. There's a lot of Union is actually pressuring down here towards A and V. This might be a pretty concentrated attack, although they might give their side over for the main force of the CSA. We'll see how this attack goes. Nice little volley there by that two core element. Teeth LA. And then we got another attempt to get on a flank here by AB, but they got a little bit caught out. A lot of uh, good shooting here from the A and V has gotten a lot of uh, really good tickets there. So good shooting by that element from A and V. And the CSA looks like it's pulling back for the most part. You still have 20 here holding a strong position. Impossible. Kind of threatening the point, but the rest of the CSA team is now maneuvering around here to kind of support. It looks like we might have an attack developing here. Here's A and V facing off against HL. Oh, but they got hit in the side. Look at this combo from the A and V. Look at that combo. And, you know, you know, hammer and anvil type of thing yeah, right there. Great, great maneuver there. Uh, now we do have a secondary attack here by Eddie, but he's about to get hit from behind. So he's going to have to get out of there. That's a lot of tickets they just lost here. Now sprinting and you know bayonets are now live. Back again, back again, back again. But um, the Union is now man, maybe a fifth, maybe a sixth away now from uh, from Ralph State, away from taking losses. This is not going well at all for the Union. CSA is still at battle ready. Basically a full morale state above. Plenty of time left on the clock here. Excellent positioning. All right. Ninth Corps, your independent fire, northeast east, you can see their flag. Shoot through the tents. Ninth Corps, shoot through the tents. Come here, there's a nice shot, Kevin. Nice shot. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, no, 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 Oh, here comes another attack by Homa. Nice little raid by him. Get inside the kill him, boys. Let's go, Let's go east. And that will chase off them from this little berm. And they're going to carry forward this attack here. We'll see if they can carry it through. It's looking pretty good for HD at the moment. Might run out of steam here in a second. 
Do they have additional support coming in? They do. It is Canada coming in. Right there, right there. Little right 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 Good awareness there by the 20th oh Georgia God. to go and support their buddies. And the Union is now okay, taking uh, losses at 27 minutes. Hold here for about five more seconds. I'm a little bit stuck. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Sorry, Kevin. that. Now the Union has succeeded in pushing back the CSA over here. I didn't. I missed this engagement here, um, so that was good. But they um, came at a hell of a loss, though. Now you got 13th Georgia maneuvering back over on this side. You know you will. Yeah, I missed that engagement, which looks like it was a big fight and a, a big win for the Union, but. I don't know if it'll be enough. There's still half morale stayed down. Very close to breaking now. They're not very close, but pretty dang close. You see the CSA coming in from Maine. That'll give them some advantage here for the Union. Um, now the question is, do you just hang back, or do you try to uh, get some manpower back and do an advantage? they got to do their own reconstitution back from Maine, so... See how it goes. It's like TJ is moving up here a little bit. I don't know if I talked about them yet, but the Hamptons Legion is another one of those robust units. They are very active um, throughout the community in multiple events, um, both EU and NA. Uh, they have both artillery and infantry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're looking to play at, at basically any time, you know, where there's an event, uh, very robust community, they do a lot of uh, other things together, the score is always super active. Um, so if you're looking for, you know, a very involved, very engaged unit, um, I highly recommend you take a look at the Hamptons Legion. Attention, friendlies, enemies in Nordista, enemies in Nordista. Starting to come up here. Have I also not looked at? I've talked about two core, I know. Uh, should have made a list. Oh, my A and B arrived. Oh, yeah, I see. Southeast, oh, they're coming, they're coming. Big group, big group. Shoot this Italian flag, boys. Shoot it down. Now, the SR over there, that's another interesting group. So they, they tend hey, to be very small, cover. but um, Tall Gray cover. has probably one of the most active. Um, groups in the game. They play in almost anything. Now, they tend to be very small, but um, <laughs> Carl Gray, I think he's one of the few hundred play players with 100 rank on. That means, you know, having the most hours in. So he's probably one of the most experienced players in the entire game. So that's the Shenandoah regulars. Um, they do already as well, but they tend to be very small. Um, you know, we're talking three to five, sometimes a little bit higher. I've seen them higher to like six to ten sometimes, so. Um, but yeah, no, they play in almost anything, so. You know, Tall Gray, if you're looking to learn from a guy that's been around for quite a long time yeah. and a lot of events, uh, check out the uh, Shenandoah regulars. Yeah, we can see how much morale state the Union is losing here. They're just... Second gets to the rock. Seconds to get to the rock. On the rocks. In the Why would they? Why would they? Oh, they're going. When they could run and not shoot. Go to the rock There's a charge by the CSA on this other side here. That'll probably put the Union onto breaking by oh, HD and the 20th. Oh, yeah, Thirteenth is back here in support, along with the uh, JB. You got Canada here in a great flanking position here against this element out of these rocks, which probably will put them on to uh, breaking here momentarily. Keep firing, boys. And there's breaking, so this should be the end of the match right here. Union's not really in a position to counterattack effectively. Not sharp, not sharp. 
We will see what happens here, but this was, here comes a counterattack. Hold boys, hold. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. And that's it. A very decisive uh, win here for that CSA team. Um, great play. I think I think the Union team got a little bit too aggressive here on this map, and it didn't really pay off for them. Um, the attacks they did try to launch uh, were very costly. And um, but you actually can't just sit back either. So you know that's 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 part of it. So challenging defense, but the CSA played it uh, textbook. So. Well done to the CSA team, and uh, we got one more, so this looks like it'll be an early day for me today.